Hello and welcome to the 123rd installment of the Synapse Misfire podcast. I'm your host, Chris, joined by our other host, Jordan. It's me. Jordan, before we, uh, before I divulge an interesting factoid, uh, please tell everyone what uh, platforms they can find this this thing on. So, you can find us on <coughs> Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Breaker, Radio Public, Spotify, Podcast, and the RSS feed linked below. It is also the YouTube video platform. We have a video platform on there. And Spotify has a video portion as well. You can watch and listen simultaneously. Mm. And uh, you can reach us via email, synapsisfire at pm.me. Send us your comments, questions, concerns, and death threats. And any new audience members, I highly recommend you go back and watch 122 because I kind of did a little reference to uh, some of the new audience members if you haven't seen that one. Yeah. So go check that out. That will be a good jump point for my, you. Uh, my thumb kind of hurty. Been opening too much Gatorade. You, you need to you make it better. <laughs> I'm not doing that on camera. Off camera. He would do it off, off camera. camera. Off camera, absolutely. <laughs> we're, we're gonna... <laughs> so, so, Jordan, are you a, are, would you consider yourself a factoid enjoyer? Oh, absolutely. So, this episode, 123, that being 123, and if you're a bit of a math wonk, you would know that it's the first three numbers. <laughs> One, two, and then Are you three. saying zero's not a number? <laughs> oh, shit, it's the first, the second through the fourth number. <clears throat> uh, and today's date is one two three it's 12 three as of recording yeah as of three as of recording you'll be seeing this on like third fucking 12 <laughs> hang on let me do some math hang on hang on i'm thinking give me a minute a give me a wonk. minute 12 14 you'll be seeing this probably christmas eve i would say probably the eve yeah because like <clears throat> people people kind of kind of trying to do stuff on christmas <laughs> oh man imagine having a family <laughs> i do it's, uh, it sounded really sad but <laughs> He <laughs> just fucking batman me. Yeah. Uh, I, don't know where, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Chris just goes off on a tangent. I should be in love. I just so, have things. You get any presents. It's a little, uh, it was a little factoid for the factoid people out there. Uh, um, I have another factoid, Chris. <laughs> What's up? Christmas is 22 days away. Wow. As of recording. Bro can do math. We got a lot of math going on today. Dude, honestly, you want to just do some homework for the whole episode? I'd rather kill myself. <laughs> so, speaking of killing myself and homework, um, my fucking, my professor's a fucking idiot. Which one? The one for the programming class? Uh, yeah, I have two classes with him. For the other class I have with him, which is, uh... You're supposed to go and, like, just do a bunch of shit, like, advanced level programming projects. Right. Uh, to, like, a small scale so you can do a, a few in, in one semester. He has been talking about... And you're supposed to take this before... You're supposed to take this before you do the capstone thing, by the way. Which, I yeah. have to take them concurrently because of how things worked out. Bullshit. So, the last thing you cover in that class is Android. <clears throat> and he started covering Android, like five weeks ago and he goes he kept saying i'm gonna assign a project i'm gonna assign an android project i'm gonna assign a project bro assigned a project last week on tuesday and then didn't release the actual project like guidelines until thursday morning and then got mad in class on thursday because no one had started it don't fucking get mad at us because you didn't do your job bro if you don't what? submit the fucking assignment to, for me to look at I can't start it yeah <laughs> I can't start an assignment I don't have yeah that's fucking weird man what a what a fuck I just so now I have to do I have to finish up two android projects in the next week mm. <clears throat> so, Jesus. That's, so that's fun is that in the net, I'm assuming by comparison this one is very easy oh yeah it's nothing it's something that's I with all the android experience I've had I can honestly say this might take me like maybe four to six hours to make this app yeah so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be anything um you know it's just one more night of android development you know what's another night so yeah. uh that's that's fun i uh i had to deal with that and obviously i have to finish up my my other project and i had a history thing i had to do which was neat i i had to write an essay i had to do a final project but the project options were like, hey, you could do this creative project, but you could also just write an essay. So I just wrote an essay. Um, so that was that was horrible. Um, yeah. Fuck essays. So, uh, you know, things are coming to an end. Uh, 
for school, not my life. <laughs> uh, I plan to stick around a bit longer, you know. Mm, yeah, um, unfortunately, Chris, your lease is up, so. <clears throat> on life? Yeah. Damn. Shit, I can't afford rent this month, I guess. Shut up. We're going uh, to put you in suspended animation. I am looking forward to it being over. Um, I learned a lot with my editing class, and I hope yeah. to learn a lot with the editing lab I have. The, the cinematography lab that I have next semester. Um, so I'm excited to get back to making stuff that like I post here. Which would be yeah. nice. um, I can't wait for you to get that Monterey video. Cause that, yeah, That's I'm going to do, awesome. I'm going to do another cut of that just because a couple of refinements. Yeah. I've learned so much. I can make it so much better than what it is. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about that. <laughs> I, with what you've learned and what you talked about with like rotoscoping, by the first thing that pops in my head is that one specific scene when we first arrive and you open the, the one door. that oh okay I was thinking oh like that. that one I'm thinking with the, that the basement be, door you mean yeah, yeah okay that could be definitely yeah. something you could fuck with I yeah bet. that that one's fucking funny um yeah e -e, you're not gonna see it for a while fuck you you're not gonna see it until probably the end of the month yeah uh, it'll be a, a, a Christmas gift this will be, be a late. 2023 premiere <laughs> filmed um, eight months ago filmed yeah in July, by the way. We mentioned that in the video. We well, mentioned that. It, we were like, it's July 17th. Oh, what was this uploaded? Oh, January 4th? 2023? What the fuck? Uh, so, you know, I'm excited to start making stuff. I've had like a crazy influx of traffic to my YouTube channel. Mm. If you don't know, you know, I'm a bit of a YouTuber. I made a video. I made a video like two years ago, two and a half years ago. Where I I talked about Lenovo ThinkPads, and I was talking about all the upgrades I did to mine because I love that laptop. It's a great laptop. Yeah. And in between, like, in the last week of November, that video went from like forty five thousand views to like ninety thousand. Yeah. It's like, bro, that's not even that good of a video. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not even that good of a video. Number one. Uh, and number two, it's brought an influx of people who are going to be expecting more of that shit. They are going to be sorely disappointed, but you know, yeah. whatever. But uh, they can always swing on over to Samson's Fire. Yeah, and I think that might be part of our, our new traffic influx. Probably. And I think what I, I got to do is <laughs> when I come back to that channel after a year and a half, I had to make... A video where we we gotta like go out into the woods and blow up my think pads i think that would be pretty cool i'm not gonna do the nice one i'm not gonna blow up because i like that laptop i'm gonna keep that but like some of my older shittier ones that don't really work i mean <laughs> put those in a big stack and just blow them up they're pretty cool just it it it's a, a metaphor for the new era there um, you go because i'm not gonna be doing oh well that's not entirely true I'm going to be doing some technology stuff, but it's not going to be nearly to the level of... It's going to be more of like, here's some scuffed thing that I've made. Right. I might do an overview of the app that I made or something. That would be pretty cool. I think you should. Which... With all the work you put into it. Because the, the amount of shit that I have to say about it is... I think it'll be entertaining. Yeah. Um, yeah it deserves its own sort of segment. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to get back to, to making things. It's going to be cool. We got a, a, a few things in the pipeline. Yeah. Um, and uh, in the books, we have our we have our Monterey video, we have our main video, we also have uh, a Christmas video we have to work on. So yeah, Christmas will probably be obviously before the other two, but obviously yeah. But yeah, we, so. we guys, yeah, it should be good. I'm excited because yeah, I mean like with the IRL videos, those are the ones that require a little more TLC, more creative freedom and creative choice. And with the new skill set you learned, I think that's going to be exponentially. Better. Yeah, and I've been watching stuff on so. like, you know, uh, on like how to how do I deal with like retention? How do I make shit that people want to watch? Yeah, and there's there's a few things you can do, and I've been I've been learning that a bit. So uh, I hope we can, you know, just make these look a bit the IRL stuff at least. Like this doesn't need any crazy editing. It's all linear. Like most of the time, I can't imagine. Uh, Jordan can speak to this, but I can't imagine there's nearly any cuts you need to make no i, I had honestly bef camera issues aside like last episode with the sd card i besides like the pre-show banter where we're setting everything up and the, the camera issues there probably hasn't been an, a genuine cut in 15 episodes 
Yeah, like the only time like a genuine like oh I gotta cut this or I gotta move this or I gotta. The do only that. time we cut stuff, uh, uh, the only time we cut stuff is like if we say some sort of personal information. But yeah, by accident, which we've gotten very good at just not doing. Or twenty three episodes later. Or, we say something out of pocket, and even then sometimes we don't cut it. Yeah, and we used to cut like <laughs> when your dad would they'd come and talk to us, but, but now he doesn't. In the studio, he just yeah. doesn't. He just doesn't come down. He here. does his own thing. Yeah. So. Uh, so. Is stuff like that. So this doesn't need crazy editing, but like something like, you know, our IRL videos and the Monterey video, I'm just thinking about it now, how it's paced and how it's laid out. There's a lot of improvements I can make mm. and I'm just going to do a fine cut of it and that's why it's going to take another, you know, some time even after I'm done because I'm going to be done fully, 100% done, finals and all on the 15th. Oh, that's awesome. That's a so, perfect time window, yeah. Uh, But like, once I'm past this next week, I have significantly less to worry about. Yeah. The only things I have to worry about after that are the actual finals themselves. And there's... Which you can't really do anything about. Yeah. Right? And there's only like... There's only like two that I actually kind of care about. Because there's... There's my... Both my programming classes, which is like... The capstone, I have to do a presentation, which is technically the final. And I think right. I have to write an essay or something about my project. Uh, and then... There's my uh, my history class, which is I have to be there because my history teacher's fucking old. She's old. So the way she does tests is like you would do them. Back uh, in the day. Back in the day. Yeah, she, she has out lined paper and oh my God. printed out question. You have to do handwritten essays in ink about everything. No notes, nothing. And it's especially a pain in the ass because... She also lectures like an old person too. She like mm. she stands up in front of the class and just speaks. Yeah. To these facts, she'll write like ten words on the board in the whole class. I'm just like feverishly taking notes. Yeah. And I'm like, that's great. I'm learning a lot of interesting shit in that class, but. You know, give me some slides or something, man. I like I got, <laughs> I got yeah. something I I got. And then you know yeah. if I get like dates or like certain facts wrong, she like she marks it down really heavily. Yeah. So I'm a little worried about that, but I have some extra credit stuff I can... Bottom line, if I get a 60 on that project and I get a 60 on the final, there right. is a 100% chance I'll pass that class. Nice. Uh, even if I bomb one of them, there's pretty much a 100% chance. Unless I get like a fucking zero. Yeah. Uh, and even then, it's going to be pretty... It'd still know. be like recoverable. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, so. I like that old style in a way. Um it's, I think it's a good thing to teach, but not like when you're 21. Like, all right, when you're fucking first grade to sixth or like fifth. Well, it's like sure. when when it's not a crazy information dump like that, mm -hmm. where it's an hour and 15 minutes of like... Fats and fats and fats and yeah. fats. If, like, if you're going into like crazy detail about like the Haitian revolution for an hour and a half, right. like, yeah, that's a lot of shit to remember. There was a lot of facts that what were involved in that. Same thing with like we did the French Revolution. There's a lot of shit involved in that, and it's a lot, it's a lot to type down. Yeah. Um. So, that's the only other one I'm kind of a little bit worried about. The one that I kind of have to like put some level of effort into. Right. Um. But thankfully, the way it works out, that's my last final. It's my only final that day. Oh. So. Nice. That's, Gives you a little bit of focus time on that. Yeah, yeah. That's so that's pretty time? good. It usually is right. Uh, finals we have two hours. Oh, that's not bad. And all my well, other ones are going to be online, aside from the presentation I have to do. Right. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, that's good. <clears throat> yeah, that's I can't wait for you to on. be free because like, like with things we've been trying to do, we we've been trying to stick to like a schedule with things. That's what we've been trying to do, and we've been doing it, but like, we haven't we haven't satisfied that itch like we had in, in Monterey and Maine, you know. Yeah. I haven't done that in a little bit. I haven't done something creative. And obviously, like, with the winter, we're, we're probably not. Like, we're going to do the Christmas thing. And then we're not going to go fuck off in the woods when it's 10 degrees out. Like, we yeah. did it for, for fucking the Halloween video and stuff. But... She got ice can, fishing. That would actually kind of be cool. But we can start to plan some things and, like, get the ball rolling on some of the other stuff we want to do. Yeah. Come the spring and summer. And it won't be, like... We won't be working around schedules. Like, all right, fuck. All right, you have these classes. Like, you'll have your... Um, that one thing. I think Alex is Alex done, or does he have his spring classes? Yeah, his spring classes, so, and I, I I think he's he's getting fucked for the spring. Like yeah. he's got he's got so a lot he's of shit he's the spring. only one who's like kind of a hard no on everything. But for the most part, with us, it'll be manageable to to yeah. get creative again. At least I think so. We'll see. I hope so. 
uh, unless it's like it hits like last summer where like I get done with finals. I'm like, oh man, that's great. I'm going to take a little period of rest. And then that completely killed my motivation for the whole summer. Yeah. <clears throat> Whereas if I just don't take a rest, I feel like it'll be better. If I'm just expelling this same, if I keep this same level of motivation, but I'm putting it into shit that I want to do. Yeah. I think that's kind of how you have to do it. Cause I, I, I think about this a lot. I kind of, I get in my own head about shit a lot. It's like, am I doing enough? Number one, but also like, why don't I fucking get things done when I want to get them done? It's getting fucking frustrating. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the part of it. It's like, because I see how effectively I'm working this semester. I'm consistently working on a, on the same project. And getting it done. For 16 weeks, which is like fucking unprecedented for me. Yeah. And I'm getting it done and I'm like, I'm crossing that finish line, you know, yeah. very soon. And that's something and, you don't really want to. And that's the thing. If I can pull my energy towards, uh, you know that much energy towards something that I really want to make. Like your channel or something. Um, yeah. You know, I can, I, I feel like I could make some cool shit. Um, Cause yeah, that, that app project, it's a means to an end. Like it's, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing it cause it needs doing. Yeah. To, to get to where you want and need to be, that needs doing. Yeah. So I, I it's do as much, chat I do as much shit uh, as possible to make, to lessen that. Um, except the last, there was a couple times where I was like, I was doing the last like major development portions where I unprecedented didn't drink. And I just put on like, I put on like one of those generic, like classical music playlists mm. and I put on the noise canceling. And I just engaged focus mode. Yeah. And that was like, you know, I noticed not a whole lot of efficiency gained. Yeah. Not enough to be like, cause the whole time I'm like, man, this fucking sucks. Yeah. You, the problem is if you're not as much as it, not good per se, but like the whiskey and stuff will help pull you out of that mindset of like this sucks. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do now this. Now I'm just I'm this. chilling with my music. I'm writing things yeah. because that's what happens to me. That was always my big thing with school. It's like I'll go into something like oh I gotta write a paper. Two hours. Let's go. Sit down and I'll start doing. It. I'm like oh my god I could be doing this. Or I, I could be doing focusing, this. Focusing focusing sl- solely on a task. Uh, just one task that you don't want to do sucks. Yeah. If you have some sort of background stimulation. Mm. Passively, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot easier. It's something that you don't particularly have to divert your focus to enjoy. Right. Um, like, like music. Like music. Or, yeah. um, so that's that's how I've been. That's how I've been doing it. Like for me, I'm kind of I'm kind of like that too. Where like I do that with coffee all the time. Like if I'm editing this podcast, and it's very passive because I just I sync the audio, put the headphones on, and I walk around because I know we're not doing anything. Fucked Bro up. does laps. It's just like it's like. The, the audio obviously that matters so like i'll be doing other things and like it's uh, I'm like oh episode's over shit like oh i didn't have to cut anything go you know at sport work on the thumbnail or i'll yeah. do that i'll work on the thumbnail while the the video's going so like it's not like i'm just like yeah because truth be told i love this show chris i love what we do but i cannot watch us like in full like i can't just i can listen to us i can't just sit down and go yeah i, I agree don't I, don't, audience I, to do I don't really yeah the video thing's more so like you should click over if we say if we make yeah, a reference. To like, like if hey. you if you hear no noise and you hear us giggle, it's like you just back it up. You could see we just we went like or something <laughs> to the like exactly. made a face <laughs> exactly or you know. But I do not expect someone to actually sit down and watch us like a YouTube video. Because I I watch every episode. I don't watch it in full. I skim through and I'm like I you know. You remember like a part. what I'll do is I'll I'll watch. I'm a fucking narcissist. I t- turn on my own <laughs> podcast and laugh at things that I said. Yeah, I'm fucking funny. Uh, what can I say? Uh, funny guy. Like, I'm kind of a fucking comedian. Yeah. You know, so I I think we're 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 pretty funny guys. Yeah. Um, I sometimes do some though. Like if I'm like really bored, like nothing to do, or I'm like oh, I got to dishes. I have no podcast to listen to. I will sometimes be like, let me go back to that Godzilla episode. I remember that. Scroll yeah. through, click on Godzilla, find the timestamp, drop it, I'll and then I'll just listen that, to that while I'm. I'll watch that. Uh, yeah. That clip of of me like cutting a promo about the calculator. That mm. fucking clip is hilarious. Yeah. I forget what episode it is. If, I was just about to ask if you remember because I do too. Uh, if you if you manage to find it while you're at it, just put like a, yeah. or put it in the little uh, the eye in the corner. A little eye card. I think yeah. we have it on our uh, our TikTok. Our um, because there's a there's a part in that where <laughs> at the very beginning where I make like a joke and I did some bad math in the joke and Jordan calls it out and I go on a fucking tangent about uh about um how jordan shouldn't overanalyze my joke 
And yeah. that clip is something I watch like regularly. I find it. Because it's, uh, I don't know, I'm funny. That, that I'm whole a funny clip, guy. That clip plays out well. And that's one of the ones where like, I would say it's enhanced for the video too. Because the way you're like raging, I'm laughing. Alex is in the middle like, holy fuck. Yeah. That's a, yeah, it's a good that's clip. A, that's a really good clip. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say about that? Totally free. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's the the biggest way I know that most of most of the jokes I make are for me. Yeah. Like I, I you know, I I say things that are funny for other people. But most of the time, if I say something that's funny, I'm saying it because it's funny for me. Oh, hundred percent. And like, <laughs> that's honestly the difference with certain like comedians. A lot of comedians like, they say things playing into their audience. Yeah. And that's like kind of how you have to do it, right? Yeah. And, you do that a lot if there's an audience, but if there's not, like when it's just us, it's usually just kind of playing back and forth, and we both get that, and we, we pass the humor back and forth. But like you notice it more at work when there's like a crowd. We're all kind of playing into each other's yeah. dynamics. So it, it all depends, but no, some of the stuff's funny. And then there's also plenty of times where I go back, and I'm like, oh, yeah, remember that thing I said? And I'm like, oh, it wasn't very funny. Damn. Like, fuck it. Like, especially, especially the drunk episodes. Listen, there's some of my fondest memories of this podcast, but... Uh, well, the elderly man at work made a very good point when he goes, do you like being around drunk people when you're sober? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, would you want to spend time with them? I was like, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can see you can see the progression of my alcoholism in those two episodes. I talked about it before. It's like the, the Monterey episode is like one of my f- first times ever being like properly really drunk. All of us, yeah. And that episode's fucking incomprehensible. Both of them are. Yeah. And... The, the the ones in Maine, which were like a month and a half later, was like I was way more drunk and I kept together completely. Yeah. You on the other hand, you were you were fucking and I you were fucking losing it. And bro. I don't drink nearly as much. I only drink with people. Like you 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 know yeah. you'll have whiskey with your project. I don't do that. I only drink if I'm like oh I'm with Chris like or if we go, if we went out to dinner like we did in Maine and stuff. Yeah. I'll drink if there. It's, here's my here's my logic. If I'm not going anywhere and it's I won't do this if there if it's light out. If it's dark, it has to be dark or else it, or feels, or else like it feels bad, right? It's got to be dark. If it's dark and I know I'm not going anywhere because obviously I'm not going to drink and drive. But like right, right. if I know I'm not going anywhere and it's dark, I'm like, this drink right here. What if I put whiskey in it or what if I put vodka in it? And I just do that. <laughs> okay. Right, right, true. I never actually thought about that. That could be that's, a cool thing to do. That's what I Let's do. Betsy also isn't a huge fan of alcohol. So it's like, yeah, she's just not a huge fan of it. Oh, well, she's not drinking it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm the, just like I'm just like you know I'll save it for when I'm with the boys. That being said, I uh, you know speaking of alcoholism, I'll talk about a recipe that I've created. I've Ooh, crafted. someone say a Christopher concoction. It's called uh, I call it Chris's Crunch Juice. Chris's <laughs> Crunch Juice. Okay. So what it is? Okay, you need to have a red cup, red solo cup, Absolutely. standard issue, red mm-hmm. solo cup. Yep. And in the bottom, you put. Uh, a packet of sugar-free fruit punch mix. Okay. The little water bottle size packets. Or you could use the quart packet if you're fucking insane. Right. Uh, and you want to just drink powder. Ugh. You pour the, 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 the little packet one. in the bottom and you fill it up. There's the little line and then there's a second line. You fill it halfway to that second line with vodka, standard vodka. And then the other half to that second line with uh, a vodka of flavored vodka of your choice i used mango pineapple mm-hmm. and then you put ice and fill the rest up with water so it dilutes you know it dilutes mixes. it and it mixes the drink and then you see you have to stir it but you do that i i was drinking that last night man that shit's good yeah that so, sounds like something i have to try were you it's, yeah we should you it's something that you're gonna drink because i'm a big man i it takes uh if I'm doing mixed drinks, like I have to pour them really heavy. Yeah. Like so, uh, your mileage may vary. It's something that gets me buzzed in one go, and I'd imagine it'd probably get me almost drunk then. In one so, day. like way more than buzzed, but not quite drunk. It's. It gets me to the level past where I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you you could see that progression in Maine too as well, where. I was like, I had vodka and or rum and coke, and then vodka and coke or something like. I was mixing a couple things, and I had like a couple of them. But you were just in the corner, like doing shots. Just as I'm yeah. talking, you're just doing shots. And then once you were already like three or four shots in, you started having the same thing. And then we kind of caught up to each other, and then I kept going. 
and like yeah, that, yeah. that that uh that trip was crazy that trip um, was a good fucking time dude uh the yeah so your mileage may vary if you don't like tasting the vodka pour it lighter if you don't want to get drunk or you can't handle alcohol pour it lighter or go heavy on the uh the flavored vodka which is less alcohol i think it's like 35 percent instead of 40 percent yeah so and it tastes better right so that's that's what i've been that's what i've been drinking I, i've been working on this this concoction for quite a bit and i was like i was looking through my wares because i have i have my my liquor stash underneath my desk i'm looking through my wares and i saw this bottle of flavored vodka that i had i don't even remember where i got it Mm-hmm. I don't remember if I or bought why. it or I just found it on the ground or like <laughs> some dude handed it to you. So I, I I literally think it was something that someone we know bought and gave to me. I forget. Uh, so I, I I was like, okay, well shit, fruit punch, fruit. Let's pour that in there. So that's what I did, and it's pretty good. It's yeah, pretty and good. then you added the other vodka and stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a nice little, so, it's a nice little mitz up. Yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, that's where I'm at uh, in life right now. It's crunch juice. What do I got? Oh. Chris? Jordan? I just want to put something in perspective. Okay. I spent, a, I spent a lot of money on video games in November. <laughs> you know what you've spent a lot of money on in 2022 in general? Earbuds. Earbuds. Yeah, I wish I had those totals. You want to know how much I spent in the month of November on video games? How much, Jordan? I'm very sad to say three hundred and four dollars. You know how much I've spent on video games in November? Seventy. Seventy four dollars. Bought God of War. And haven't played it. I haven't played it. I'm waiting. I bought it as motivation. Yeah. To look so for I bought that it, line. I get up, it's behind my, my monitors, because that's where my PlayStation is. Because <laughs> I have the PS5 standing up <laughs> behind the monitors and I, I have the game there and I stand up and I look at it. Every so often, I just start fucking salivating. I'll pick it up, and I'll open the case, and I'll smell it every so often. Because new game smell is great. I would say better than new car smell. Oh, yeah. By a mile. Oh, yeah. It's, you crack open, especially, it's like, (laughs) it's like cracking the wax seal on a fine cheese wheel. It's, you crack open the the plastic wrapping on a, on a new game, and it's just... (sighs) Just a pungent, pungent, plastic plasticky smell. smell. And then you yeah. open it up and you... Get the metallic CD smell. Yeah, and then you, you take out the disc and you look at it and you can see yourself in the disc. You put it back. You're like, you're like I'm a fucking loser. And you're like, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna play the shit out of this game. And then you look again you're like, why don't they make the hole in the middle of the disc bigger, man? Fuck. <laughs> why don't they make it smaller? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I'll have to pack it with toilet paper again. Fuck. Um, <laughs> uh, um, but, Chris, one of those games was by far the most expensive, and I bought Left for Dead for 79 cents. 79 cents. Dude. Let's how took away my Duncan. Recover? She took away my Duncan for a year. Bro, you got rent to pay, bro. You got bills. I know, man. I'm being evicted. 79 fucking cents, dude. Yeah, 79 <laughs> cents. I ended up buying Left for Dead. I, why? I don't know. It was 79 cents. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. I forget, because, like... It's originally 9.99, man. Yeah, Left 4 Dead... I, I don't know if I have the first one. I might just have Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2 is one of those games that I feel like pretty much everyone has in their Steam library. And no one paid full price for it. I feel like I distinctly remember <clears throat> Valve giving them away at, at one point. I don't think I paid... I it might have. They might have, because I don't think I paid for Left 4 Dead 2. You know you can view your receipt if you did. Oh. If you go if to the I, support page. If I did, if I did, it wasn't, like, I think I paid maybe, if I did pay for it, probably four ninety nine at most. I'm going to find out if I paid for it. Um, we should do a Left 4 Dead video. I'm going to think about that. <laughs> we should do the, the Black Ops one, and we should do a Left 4 Dead 2 yeah. gameplay. We do all the, we run through the classic Gambit. Not a bad idea, actually. And we should play, uh, I wish should start a Minecraft server. That would be pretty cool. Um, I think that would be, I think that would be kind of fun. So. Oh, bro, this new Steam app kind of blows, I ain't going to lie. Damn, you know, as, as, as an Android app developer, I've been noticing a lot of the... Uh, the I purchased it twice. A lot of the uh, pain in the ass or like annoying shit that 
I bought it for 1999 on Damn. March 7th, 2015. Damn, man. I've been noticing I I a, lot of, a lot of bullshit in apps. Like, a lot of these apps, man, they're so fucking poorly made. The food apps... They blow. They're all awful. And it's very obvious that it's all the same company that's making them because they all look kind of the same and mm-hmm. function kind of the same, meaning they don't. Yeah. The McDonald's app was stuck in like a boot loop for me. Wasn't. Like it would show the, the logo does that. crash, show the logo crash. The Duncan app does that for me too, yeah. And that app is so fucking poorly made. The The Taco Bell one is so poorly made. Every time I want to make an order on either of those apps, I have to sign out. Sign back in so it cancels the order that I have. That's fucking weird. Yeah. And uh, if, you know, God forbid I want to pick up my order. At McDonald's, they give you the four-digit code. Sometimes that will just go away before I can look at it. Oh. And they don't put it anywhere else that you can just retrieve. Uh, So, you know, the other day I had to go like, hey, put in a mobile order, but like, the fucking thing didn't give me the code, so like, so I just gave so him my name, my food. and then it was a whole fucking thing. Yeah, to get my food. So, and the McDonald's app just doesn't work sometimes. Like, let's see, ordered it before, and they just didn't get the order. I was in the drive-through one time, and they they kept it, the app kept telling me I wasn't at McDonald's. Like, no, I'm at the location. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. So yeah, a lot of those food apps blow. The new Steam app's pretty good, but it's a little buggy. They need to. And if it's, I don't know why Steam can't make it out, but they can make Steam OS so fucking awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like if they just took the same code base as Steam, and then yeah, because the Steam like desktop app works really well. Yeah, it's like bulletproof. Um, yeah, that is that is a resilient piece of software. Yeah, uh, so. old looking for sure. Definitely feels a bit dated, but it is yeah, bulletproof. But it's still it's still good. Man. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, but the the only thing I can think of is that uh, developing on mobile. I don't know about iPhone. Developing on Android sucks. Yeah. Because if you're gonna develop natively, like in Android Studio, you have to do uh, Java or Kotlin. So if your app already isn't written in that, you have to, redo to it. like you have to you have to port it over somehow or like find some sort of translation layer. And using that fucking sucks. Yeah. There's someone else in my in my class that's doing a project in one of these translation layers. I forget what it's called, but it, like you basically write like C plus plus or something yeah. on top and just do the whole thing in C plus plus, and apparently it fucking sucks. Yeah, that sounds so, shit. So I just just use the the standard thing. It's any option kind of sucks. So. Yeah, programming in general sucks. Yeah, I'll be honest. I am willing to, like, program shit to make my life easier. Like, if it's like, oh, this is something that I can do manually, or I can do it programmatically and write a little script in 10 minutes and it'll be easy. Right. Uh, Or, you know, I can build this, like, minor thing in, like, a couple hours and it will make my life that much easier. I'll do that. But, like, I, I don't, like, I don't have a passion to make, like, big projects in general anymore. Yeah, for like that. for for coding at least. Like I don't I don't fucking I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh it's it's annoying. So makes sense. That's that's where I'm at. You know, Chris. You know, Jordan. I don't think we even talked about this. I know we didn't on the show, but I know we I'm pretty sure we didn't in person either. How was your Thanksgiving? It was fine. It was busy. Yeah. As usual. I uh you know, I got up and I cuz that weekend was fucking wild. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, okay, class and work, right, Wednesday I got out of work, got home, immediately started developing, and in between Wednesday, we had Thursday and Friday off, between Wednesday and Sunday, I did like maybe, honestly, like 40 hours of work into that project. Yeah. Um, in 96, which is, so it was... From the time I got up, which was usually like eleven o'clock, till the time I went to bed, which was usually like four a.m., I would I would be working on this fucking thing, um, with breaks to like eat <laughs> and shit. Yeah, um, so that's that's what I was doing that whole weekend. So that's you know almost I wouldn't say it ruined my Thanksgiving, but like it was definitely something on my mind. Put the a whole dour time, feel because I was like, 
I didn't really like do a whole lot of conversing, and then like I got out of there quick because I'm like, I, I got fuck, I got shit, I gotta take care of, man. Yeah, I, I gotta worry about this. You know, call me next year. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, my uh, my Thanksgiving was all right. It was pretty good. It was it was tame. I know Letsy felt a little disconnected this year. She was like, this year feels different. I was like, yeah, it kind of does. You know, just kind of. No, she's right. Just in general, yeah. this year feels a bit different. That's yeah. right. Like, 2020, I think, fucking threw the whole rhythm off of just yeah. the earth. Of time, yeah. You like? I'm, I'm convinced the earth spins a little bit faster. Like, 2020 was fucked up. Obviously, like, 2021 was supposed to be the comeback year. 2021 was fucked up, too. 2022 wasn't terrible. I feel like 2022 wasn't terrible. There's a lot of things going on, but, like, comparatively, we can go outside we can breathe the air and not be worried. We can kiss. <laughs> the uh, let, let's do a count on how many times I do that face. Um, you can do you can do a lot of things that you couldn't do, uh, you know, in twenty twenty one and especially twenty twenty. Um, so I feel like twenty 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 three, I think is looking up. You know what? I want to. I'm a yeah. bit of an optimist. A I want to be. An optimist. I want to be optimistic for twenty twenty three. I think it's going to be looking up. But 2022 is definitely a strange one. Yeah, for sure. Just in general. For sure. But, um, yeah, then I spent way too much money on Black Friday. Nice. Did you really spend anything? Did you buy anything? Uh, no, I only bought, I only bought Ragnarok. Mm. And fuck GameStop, by the way. <laughs> like, I bought, I was like, okay. GameStop, Best Buy, GameStop, Best Buy. The fucking stores are right next to each other. Six of one, half dozen of another. The, the deciding factor was, does which store has the, um, the, the Miles Morales, uh, the copy of Spider-Man Miles Morales with original Spider-Man remastered? Yeah. Neither of them did, so I just bought God of War on GameStop's website. I was like, in-store pickup, perfect. Best Buy I've, is the only other store I've done in-store pickup on. They have that shit on lock. Dude, they do. Like, they get... They get that order ready quick. You put it in, and it's like, I get the email, it says one hour. I get the email within 15 minutes that it's ready. Yeah. Great. GameStop, I put in the order. They're like, okay, your order's in. And I kept checking on it. It kept saying, in progress. Oh, fucking hard to walk to the shelf and get the game. It's not that hard. Yeah, get the case. So I can open the case. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how fucking hard is that? So I kept looking at it. I just kept saying, in progress, in progress. And then the next day, I was like, okay, this is fucking ridiculous. I hadn't gotten the email yet. And I'm just going to go down there. I go I go down there. I walk in. Say, hey, man, I put in an order online for pickup, uh, you know, for, for God of War. Uh, and I never got the email that it was ready. And uh, I gave him my name and I showed him my, my license. And uh, he was like, yeah, man, it's ready. And then... This is how that conversation went. He went, yeah, it's ready. Do you want it? Of course I fucking want it. I paid for the fucking thing. Yeah. I already gave you my money. Of course I want the thing. If I, if, <laughs> if, if you were at Dunkin' Donuts and you got, say, something that takes time, like a breakfast sandwich, and you already paid for it, and they go to hand it to you, and you go, this is yours, right? And you go, yeah. They go, do you want it? Of course you want it. But, oh, you know what, actually? Actually, no, you nah, keep send it. it back. You know, yeah, that one's for you. Enjoy it. Um, so. Yeah, what a weird fucking Strange question. interaction. Uh, but that's the only thing I bought over over that weekend, so. Yeah. Dude, I bought. So this became a cascading fuck Jordan event, pretty much. Mm. It all started, like, a week before Thanksgiving when I, I found a deal on a TV and I bought a TV. I said, like, all right, cool. I had two things in mind to buy for Black Friday okay. this year. All year I've been talking about it. Oh, it was a TV and a printer. Fuck, TV and a printer. That's it. I buy those two things, and I'm set. I'm chilling. Okay. All right. And then this is where things took a turn. All right. Me and Letsy have wanted a kitchen island on wheels, because there's, you've seen it, there's like no counter space in that apartment. Mm. Wanted a kitchen island on wheels. We've been looking for like a year. Can't find any that suit our needs. Don't want to build them, because they're mad expensive to buy wood and build and whatever. So, finally... I found a baker's rack, and I'm like, okay, it's not on wheels. It's got the space we need. It looks like it'd be perfect for our use case. Okay, let me buy it. It was like, I think I got $120 maybe on sale. Like, let's mm -hmm. fucking buy it. 
We buy it. It comes in. Like, sweet. Sweet. Now, in the time that it took for it to come in, I had found an air fryer that was a killer deal. We have a five-core air fryer. Um, I found one at Best Buy that's a eight-core or 8.2-core air fryer. And it was originally 170 or 160, and it was on sale for 40 bucks. So I bought it. You know, I have to buy that. I can't not, right? Yeah, that's fair. You're losing money not buying it. You know? Yeah, buy the air fryer. Cool. Air yeah. fryers are quiet. Air fryers been acquired. Use a use a lot. You air fry a lot. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. we do. We do air fry a good. So bit. I have one. I don't. I don't use it very often. We so we don't air fry like a lot. We make a lot of more like oven made meals and like stove top made meals. But anytime we make something frozen, if it's like for breakfast, for lunch, whatever, it's always air fried. It, it's way better. Mm-hmm. Comes out nice and crispy. But um, see. so by the air fryer, cool. That's it. I'm done. All right, well, a bunch of stuff went on sale. My dad and mama's birthday were back-to-back in November, right at the end of the month, right before Thanksgiving, before and after Thanksgiving. I'm like, fuck, I buy them gifts. I'm like, God damn it, this shit sucks. I buy a bunch of Christmas gifts for the Secret Santas I have. I'm like, fuck, this blows. The fucking baker's rack comes in. I'm like, all right, I'm done. I'm not buying anything. I'm done. Chris, I'm done. I'm mm-hmm. done, man. Mm-hmm. The baker's rack has a shelf that's 21 inches wide. Right. My microwave is about 20.4 or so, or at 20.5, right? Right. I'm like, all right, perfect. It'll fit. It's open air, so it's not like it's constricted. It's not like an enclosed thing. It's metal bars, so it's, it's yeah. perfectly, you know, adequate airflow. I'm like, this is fine. Build the baker's rack, put it in place. I'm like, wow, it's pretty nice. I like it. It's got an outlet on it. It has an extension cord that goes out the back. You plug it in, and it has two outlets. I'm it's like, pretty neat. Like, this is pretty mint. Cool. Go to put the microwave. Won't fit. I'm like, I ain't gonna fit. I'm like, okay, oh, all shit. right. Microwave won't fit. Let me try. Let me, let me get some physics in here. I started trying to turn it, flip yeah. it, fucking do all this shit. You have flashbacks to when we built your computer. Basically, oh my god, yeah. Basically, we um, had to like rotate his graphics card in, in like four different dimensions. Yeah, we had to like sh- twist sh- it. shoot that shit into fifth dimension to like yeah. <laughs> to get it in the case. Yeah, basically, dude, it was the same thing. I'm like, I can't fit straight on. So what if I like tilt, go in, and then turn? Like, what if I do this? That nothing would work. Nice. So now I have to buy a microwave. All right. Find a microwave. Walmart's like, yo, pick it up right at the store. It's on the shelf. Aisle H10. Fucking man. Let's go. I hop in the yards. I'm banging through the gears, dude. We fly down. We get there. Lexi's not super happy because she had stuff she wanted to do, but she wanted to go with me. So she's like, fuck, this is annoying. It's throwing off our schedule. This is like a Wednesday as well. or um, No, this is on Monday or Tuesday. Sorry, Tuesday, actually. Which fucking day was it? It's a Tuesday, man. We fucking get there. I go to the aisle. I'm like, okay. It's not here. Right. No problem. Let me ask someone to look in the back. I go up to the got one guy. I go, hey, uh, this microwave says it's on the shelf. It's not. Can you look in the back? He goes, yeah, dude, the bat's a mess. I'm not going to find it. I mean, if you're at that stage where you don't see something on the shelf and you ask someone to look in the back, you know damn well they're not going to find it. Yeah. You know, unless it's shoes. The only other experience I've had was with shoes because they only put out like one display model and they're like, hey, do you have these in like a 13? And they yeah. have to go look. Because I got fucking fat feet, so. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. He's like, I'll see what I can do. He walks, he goes, he asks. He's like, oh, the app says it's in stock because it's on the truck, but they don't unload the truck till 7 a.m. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, fuck me, I guess. I'm like, all right, thanks, dude. I leave. So that's why I see if it's online and I see it's in stock in the store, I'll put in an online order because I'm like, I could go there and pick it up. But if I can guarantee one, yeah, I, so that. I would do that, but Walmart's pickup has always sucked for me. So specifically that Walmart, they got rid mm. of the walk-in pickup section. So it's all you drive around the back to the warehouse. Oh, that's fucking and they have sketchy. to come out and confirm you, and then fucking bring you your shit. It's annoying. The one, so. the one up here, you can either park or you can walk in. Yeah, that. So the how that one's set up, they got rid of the walk-in of the one in my city. So I'm like, this fucking sucks. So and they didn't have it at this one here. So I'm like, fuck. Um. So I didn't want to do that. So I'm like, fuck it. I order it for just delivery. It says it'll be in Thursday. I'm like, all right, two days with the, our fucking baker's rack a mess because we have all this shit stacked up on it that we, we don't plan on having now. Microwave finally comes in. We set it up. Thing looks pretty mint now. We have a pretty little pretty little mint setup going on. Google Home nice, on top, nice. fucking coffee maker. It's nice. Very nice setup we got. So I'm happy with it now. Stressful few days, though. And all in all, dude, I don't even want to know how much I spent on that that that. Like for fucking Black Friday. Let me let me let me do a little mathematician work here. Fucking it's just gross. Just fucking gross, dude. Between so shopping alone, 
like just quote unquote shopping because I, I use an app to fucking track a bunch of shit. Oh, I bought a Wi-Fi extender as well. That was another thing. Mm. Um, shopping alone looks like it was about 170, 180. Then including gifts for people was an additional between November 19th and November 25th, $600. Oh. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I'm not a happy guy. I'm not happy about it. But in fairness, every ounce of Christmas shopping I had to do was done, except for Let's See, because we have a budgeted amount that we spend on each other. Yeah. Too. So the so. biggest thing is, like, I personally, I don't, like, big into, like, gift culture in general. I just, this is a weird way to phrase it. But, like, I don't usually ask for crazy gifts. Like, my dad will ask me if I want something for Christmas, and I say, I don't, I don't care. Like, if you get me something that the total monetary value is, like, 30 bucks, I'm fine with that. Like, it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. And to that same... And I don't really give out gifts either. Yeah. I give out, like, little gift cards or something sometimes. But, like... Yeah. Or, like, when we did the Christmas special last year. That was different. That was well, yeah, more of a different. Segment. But, like, the, the... I don't generally give out gifts. I don't generally expect to receive gifts. Um... If I receive them, uh, uh, it's not saying that I'm not thankful when I get them, but like, you don't have to ever get me a gift. I don't care. Yeah. Um. So that's that's, you know, saves me money. Saves other people money by not having to buy me shit. Yeah. So, if I want something, bottom line, I'm probably gonna buy it myself. <laughs> right. That's the problem I always have. That's how I ended up with the earbuds I used for the Steam Deck. Was I put them on a Christmas list? And I was like, fuck, now I don't know if someone bought them and I really want them now for the Steam Deck. And then my mom, because I helped her with something, gave them to me early as a gift. I was like, oh, cool. <clears throat> my mom's wild. My mom will put herself in debt to buy people Christmas gifts. It's such a bad habit of hers. Yeah. I think I've told this story before about how when the PS4 first came out, you couldn't get them. Not as bad as PS5, but you still like couldn't really get them. Yeah. Um, you had to like pre-order them, but it wasn't. Yeah, I remember yeah. it wasn't nearly as bad. Not as it nearly has been. as bad. Like it, where you put your pre-order in, and it's like, yeah, it'll be in like a month. Now it's like, you you'll maybe get one this year. Yeah, maybe. But she fucking spent. I think I think at MSRP it was like whatever four hundred bucks, right? I think she bought one for like eight or eleven hundred bucks, off of someone, sealed, for me. Oh my fucking god! Fucking wild. Fucking wild. I couldn't even Had imagine. I known back then what scalping was, yeah. I, would, I would have told her no because I don't like scalpers. You're a piece of shit. I mean, I get that yeah. it's fair game, but you're still a piece of shit at heart. But, like, yeah, she did that shit, and I was like, oh, Lance Mom. And then, like, years later, she told me about that. And I was like, you oh. what? You what? I was just like, the, don't you uh, ever support scalping? Yeah, no, for real. That that shit sucks. Yeah. And and that's the thing. It's like, do you know if you're gonna have to, uh, if you're gonna have to bend over backwards to get gifts, like I don't even want it at that point. Yeah, it's also a bad culture. I feel like to to present kids with everything they want because in fairness, yeah, I'll be 100 percent honest agree. with you. I'll be honest with you. I don't remember exactly how I was back when the PS4 came out in 2013, but I bet if I hadn't gotten it that year, I would have been a little shit. Yeah, you know no, saying? that's fair. I don't know for sure, but I, I can fairly confidently say, knowing how I've been that's in fair. the past, I probably would have been like, <laughs> I didn't get the gift I want. And that all stems like, from just always getting everything. Yeah. So I definitely wasn't like I wasn't like crazy spoiled. I feel like I see a lot of these like affluent people who buy their kids like fucking six thousand dollars of Christmas gifts. Yeah. It's like that's great. Your kid's gonna be the worst when he grows up. I wasn't like crazy spoiled. Like we had we had means, but like I didn't get shit year round. It was like, is your birthday? No. Is it Christmas? No. I'm not buying you shit. Yeah. Uh, unless you need it, obviously. Like yeah, if, yeah, if you need wants. like if you need like clothes, then yes. Yeah, yeah. but you're not but like, dad, like buy me God of War. <laughs> I was like, Dad, can I get an Xbox? You'd be like, No. Yeah. So that, wait for Christmas, and you know when Christmas came around, it was uh, you know, that yeah. was the time. But that was free reign, maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. There was usually I would have like a big ticket gift that I would get, and that yeah, would and be that small. would be the thing, and then it would be like a couple small things, and. Usually I get the big ticket thing unless it was something fucking crazy. Yeah. So, you know, it's... Yeah, that, that's usually how it was for me. My mom went still a little extra. And she still does. Um, the biggest thing for me is, like, I always... Looking back, um, like, when it comes to getting things, like you mentioned, like, throughout the year, it's like, nah, fuck off, dude. You don't need God of War. Like, that kind of stuff. My 
My mom was kind of like that, but not really. She, I could still easily get her to break. And in mm. hindsight, I think the right way to do it as someone who intends to be a parent someday is like, okay, Chris, you want this new game, and you want me to just hand over $70. By the time yeah. I have a kid, probably $100 um, to buy it. $1,000. Go yeah. do something. Like, go well, yeah, mow the lawn. That was, go the, do that was the thing with, like, with my dad was like, hey, can I have this? Like, sure, if you buy it. It's like, okay. How do I get money? How do I get money? And I'll just, like, I would just do something and then he would and then he would uh either just give me the money or he would just buy me the game yeah it's it's one of those things it's like getting a 60 dollar game when you're fucking 11 is like crazy it's like oh man i fucking s- did so many dumbass chores for yeah. this or like I, I did so much stupid shit to get this or like i saved my, my birthday money or whatever yeah and you know it's uh <laughs> to just have it handed to you, you don't appreciate it nearly as much. A hundred percent, yeah. My my first, it was so funny. Cause, so my mom used to, I used to do little things for her, like to get things later when I got older. Like when I was a young kid, dude, I would just keep asking and eventually she'd be like, oh my God, fuck off here. But then when I got older, she got a little sterner to the point where I was like, well, do something. Like, let, let's let's earn this a little bit, which is yeah. good. But dude, when I got my first job, I remember I told Letsy this story and she was like kind of, like, holy shit, to put things into perspective, here I am, right? I'm 14, going right into freshman year. I start with the first fucking job, nice. and I get my first paycheck. And, dude, I'm like, it's the most money I've ever seen in my hands at one time. It was $148, Chris. Oh, shit. Was dude. that weekly? Was that a week? That was two weeks. Oh, okay. Dude. I was going to say, if it was weekly, damn, you were making you dude. were making big money. I worked nine hours. No, nine hours? Yeah, nine hours a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three hours. <laughs> 18 hours every two weeks, dude. 160 dollars or 148 dollars after taxes, um, making I think it was nine dollars an hour at the time. And then I was like, dude, I saw this check. I was like, mom, help me cash this now. This is mine. Let me cash it. I'm like, I get the cash. I'm like, what? Like, oh my god. I, dude, I, I get a, I get a. I think I loaded it either on her debit card or I got like a, a visa. Dude, I go on Steam. I hit wish list. I bought like four games. Oh yeah, immediately. Dude, I was just sitting there like I'm watching these things install. And I'm just like, the the <laughs> I couldn't fathom that the I just financial got this. irresponsibility that takes over the second you have like your own job is like it's crazy. It's like well, now I can buy a sixty dollar game and not worry about it. And then I feel like for most people they kind of like they're like oh. I should stop doing this. Mm -hmm. But for some people, they just keep going. But like for most people, they just pull back. And now like if I I buy a game, like very rarely do I buy a game for full price, like $60, $70 full price. There are some exceptions like God of War I bought because it's new, just came out. I really want that game. And you know you're going to play it. And I know I'm going to play it. If if, if I'm buying a game, most of the time if I'm buying it, it's something, oh, I I heard about this and I kind of wanted it. And uh, it's on sale for like eighty percent off. Someone to buy it. Yeah. Very rarely do I just spend like drop like sixty bucks on a game or yeah. seventy bucks now. Dude, when I like, the, it's funny you mentioned like the financial irresponsible. I remember literally when the Rift, when I realized the Rift was even a thing, I just I, I looked at Amazon. I'm like, no fucking way, dude. I looked at my bank account. I literally I think the exact numbers was for the Rift. It was five. No, it was 700 at the time. 700. It was like 760 something. Yeah. And I looked at my bank. I had like 785. And I went, dude, add to cart. Yeah, like, easy. Easy. I remember literally buying the Rift and then being like, yeah. And then I got it. And I, I looked. I'm like, I have $10 in my account. Oh, it has free games. All right, we're good. And I played yeah. free games for like a week, got paid, and then just bought a shit ton of shitty ass VR games. From yeah. The early days in, that VR. Same, in that same vein, the first two vehicles I bought, uh, the uh the jeep that i had i fucking emptied my bank account for that yeah uh like i had like eight dollars left my accent the down payment i like emptied my bank account for that too yeah uh so you know maybe fucking don't do that yeah don't do that that's that's heavy advice for sure my uh my other my fiesta when i put a down payment on i had savings i pulled them out of savings yeah i was like if uh, you definitely have to follow that rule of like, can I buy this twice? No, then I'm not going to buy it. Yeah, not 100% because that's, I don't want to say it's the mistake I made when I moved out. I moved out under some circumstances that were kind of like, 
not in my control. They were. It was more like, I'm not being kicked out, but things are, like, really fucking with my mental health in this environment. I need to fuck off before yeah. I, like, hate my life and fall into this pit of despair. So that whole moving out thing happened in, like, a 15-day period. It was like my brother bought a house, and jokingly, we were talking one day, and he was like, yeah, you should try to move in the apartment. I was like, I'm not going to fucking do that. Why would I move out? I have it cozy. And then some shit happened, and I was like, I'm moving out. Yeah. And But when we moved out, between first, last security, some runs we bought, I, rem- I distinctly remember I had, like, $1,700. And then my explorer was like, do we need a transmission? Yeah, we need a transmission. <laughs> Slip right out of gear. The next day after we moved Bruh. out. Had I moved out completely alone and not been you know, with Letsy and had her there to give me like, I think she gave me like $1,800 for the cobalt. I literally would have been like, I am walking to work in January because I moved out and was there January 1st. I'm walking to work. Mm. So since then, things have been really reeled back on big expenses. Obviously, I just mentioned like the whole Black Friday thing, but to your point about buying it over, I didn't bankrupt myself doing that. Yeah. So it's, dude, that was like a huge eye opener for me because I went, Huh, this is what they meant when they said being an adult sucks. Like, yeah, this is what they were talking about. I yeah. get it now. I think that's, yeah, that's the thing. Um, the, the, I feel like the, the biggest thing where I run into issues is like, uh, vehicles and vehicle expenses. Mm-hmm. Like, man, this is, this is cool. I have this car now. And then I thought, like, well, there hasn't been any, like, real reliability issues talked about with like the fiesta so i'm probably fine with that like the the version that i have like obviously with the the standard auto box version there was a whole ton of issues with the transmission but yeah, obviously it's manual yeah it's the shitty dual clutch one like yeah i forget what it's called it's like ford power shift or some dumb shit it's like, <clears throat> and uh meaning it uh used all of its power when it shifted once um but i had manual so it's it does uh but then I was like, man, okay, this is going good. And then, uh, you know, and then I had to put in like three thousand dollars worth of work because my fucking tire jettisoned itself on the highway. Yeah, right. And that's like totally out of your control. It's like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck happened? I was like, well, fuck. I guess you know this is the thing I got to deal with now. So I really wish we could figure out what happened with that. Like, if someone overtorqued the wheel, or something. Someone must have overtorqued it and like broke one of the muds, and then it was just something like, it was must have happened because I'm almost con- I'm. Almost 100% certain that I didn't touch that wheel at all. Yeah. Well, because I remember we had talked about that because I said, didn't you, didn't you look at your brakes? And you're like, yeah, but it was the fucking driver's side. Yeah, it was like, the other side. Like, how is this possible? So, so like, yeah, I, I really want to know what happened with that someday. Hopefully when I'm dead, right? If, if I die and I go to heaven. And I get a replay. I, I go to fucking heaven and God is like, listen, man, you have one wish. Do you want to return to Earth reincarnated or do you want to do this or that? No, I want to know. And I'm like, what happened? what happened to Chris's tire? And he's like, really? That that's what you want to ask, and then it's just gonna be a, a video of like me drunk walking over, loosening all the wheels. I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit, man. No, and that then, didn't happen. I couldn't even drink it. And then we're both, and then we're both sitting, <laughs> we both get into heaven. I'm just like, this motherfucker. <laughs> we get into heaven at the same time. I'm like, hey, hey, hey Chris, how you doing? I know what you did. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay. I know what you did. If I could kill you right now. God's like, actually, you can. <laughs> We're like in Sparta with spears. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, brings me to another thing I wanted to think about. Speaking of God and, uh, God of War, I think the next mythos they move on to, I think they should move on to just Christianity. That just could be move cool. on to like the Christian Controversial, pantheon. but cool. Controversial, maybe, maybe like People have 15 years ago. I guess, true. That is but true. But like, you know, even then, not really. Like, you know, I feel like, I think, just simply because I think it would be really funny to have, like, Kratos, Kratos just beating the shit out of, like, God, or, like, just fucking, he, like, rips Jesus in half, and God is like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That would go over so well. I just, I, that's the only reason I, I would want that, because I think it's funny. Yeah. Uh, and that would be pretty funny. I really like juxtaposition like that, where it's like, oh, this is uh, <laughs> something completely absurd in something that you wouldn't normally. Yeah. See well, it, we, it was funny because um, I was talking about how I like how God of War is like 
I don't want to say factual, but it's true reality of what those characters are supposed to be. Obviously, Kratos well, yeah, it's being like, the exception. Yeah. It's myth- mythologically accurate. Yeah. And I, I was talking to my coworker, not the elderly one, not the new one, the, the other guy, who I, I still don't have a nickname for him. I just mm-hmm. come up with one. That way I don't have to describe him every time. Um, And he was talking about, you know, MCU Thor and how it's fucking it's Chris Hemsworth. He's a big, buff, beautiful dude with blonde hair. And, like, he's all... Yeah. The, but in God of War, I was like, dude, it's a 8 foot 11 fat motherfucker and that's who and lore it's lore accurate it's lore accurate and you think of thor if you know the mcu you're like oh he's a hero no dude thor is a gluttonous piece of shit he's he's fucking evil dude thor is like a gluttonous asshole that's his character and thor in the game all the time it's it's, obviously it's about radnorok right it's always just like i don't fucking care fuck these mortals and like yeah that's a that's a thing that i i I think kind of plays into it because in every mythos, it doesn't matter what, every creation myth, whether it's, you know, multiple gods or just one or whatever, that some of the gods, some number of them are just fucking assholes. Mm-hmm. They're just like, look at like Greek mythology. A lot of the gods are fucking awful. Yeah. Uh, same with Norse mythology. Even fucking like the Abrahamic religion. The fucking, the whole Old Testament, isn't that like just God throwing a shit fit for most of the time? Yeah, pretty sure, he's yeah. Just he's just a, killing he's people just being a bitch. taking vengeance, yeah. Like, mm, fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I, I think that, that plays into that. So, yeah. I, I think that's interesting. Yeah, um, I think I said this to you and Alex without spoiling it. What I really like about Ragnarok is it puts things into perspective where, like, everyone just keeps being like, Kratos, you're a hypocrite. Like, and he's trying I mean, to be like... No, like they deal with that a lot in uh, in 2018. Oh, and it gets ramped up like heavy, like where it's very much like Kratos is being portrayed as a hypocrite, but he's like, dude, I'm not. I'm just trying to fucking live. You're starting this, like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's like, imagine yeah. this, right? Imagine you're a god. Well, you can see it very much in like the beginning of 2018 when Baldur shows up and starts shit and starts shit, and, he, and Kratos doesn't want to do anything. And before the fight starts, he goes, "Well, you started this." Yeah. And... Well, it's like in this game. I don't know if it's like, I, I need to see how it plays out. Obviously, and you'll have to when you play it. But like. A lot of the god interactions in this game are very much like, imagine you're, you know, at god and I'm Kratos, and you, like, walk up, and you're talking shit, and you punch me, and then I kill you, and everyone else is like, <laughs> you're the god killer, we knew you're still the god killer, and you're like, so, well, yeah, I just, I just do shit, I just do shit because I'm doing shit, like, it's if, like, if, bro, if Balder didn't show up and start fucking my shit up for no reason, living. I, you know, I would still just be doing my own thing, all right? Yeah. It's like, dude, you'll be like, this isn't an actual scene with this, just an analogy, but like, you'll be fishing with Atreus, they walk up and they smack Atreus, and you're surprised that Kratos kills you. You're, <laughs> you're surprised. surprised? You're surprised that he rips you limb from limb and makes you fucking suck his dick. Like, are if you I, surprised? Yeah. Oh, wait, he's the god killer. If I broke into your house and I shot Oscar. You would die immediately. And, and, then, you, <laughs> and, then, you, and then you killed me. I can't be like, I can't be just like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, like, uncalled for, bro. But that happens so much in Ragnarok where it's like, similar to the Baldur situation. Not like in the same where he's taking punches, but like, they're saying things, they're doing things, they're like, doing these actions that are clearly negative towards Kratos. And then he finally retaliates and everyone's like, I knew you were still the ghost of Sparta. I knew you were evil. And Kratos is just like, I'll do anything to protect Atreus. Like, Mm -hmm. fuck off. Bro's just being a dad. He's just, he's just trying to be Dados. Dados of war. Yeah, for real. So. You know, I uh, I don't play that fucking game. Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll like it. I can't wait to. Why are my fucking text messages? God damn. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. I'll probably play it a little bit today, and then I can't wait for you to play it and beat it, so we can like fucking just throw down about we it. We can, yeah, we can convene. Yeah, and have so. a little. Uh, we'll have to warn Alex. Alex did request that we uh make it very explicitly clear that we're about to spoil it. When uh, when we do our spoiler cast, because we will be doing one after we both play it, we're gonna sit. For the first 10 minutes of the episode, we're going to look, we're going to be very, very close to the camera so you just see our faces. And we're going to be screaming into the camera about how there's about to be spoilers for God of War Ragnarok. Yeah. No, actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to send out a clip be like, hey, check out this clip of the podcast. And it's just going to be, be me, like, just it's be gonna like, be Kratos is dead, Kratos is dead, For the ending of the game. The exact ending, yeah. Just like, Kratos, Kratos, Kratos becomes a Twitch streamer. Yeah, there you go. Kratos is a Twitch streamer. He has a bikini on. Kratos becomes He's a, a hot tub streamer. Kratos becomes a hot tub streamer. Uh, I'll buy his bath water, dead ass. Is that all we got? I guess. <laughs> on that bombshell, we have to. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Alex. I didn't mean to spoil it for you. 
Yeah, Kratos, Kratos sells his bath water. To the, to I have some right here. <laughs> So I can pull it out. But uh, anyway, you can find the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Breaker, Rated Puppet, Spotify, Pocket Cast, and the RSS feed all linked below. It's also YouTube where we have a video platform. And uh, Spotify also has that video platform incorporated. You can also reach out to us via email, sensefire at pm.me. Send us your comments, your questions, concerns, and death threats. There's also Instagram and TikTok and the YouTube comment section. And Spotify Q&A. I wonder, as things get added over time, if that outro is just going to become so long that it's an entire episode in and of itself. I, I somehow doubt that. Wonder. Well, eventually it's gonna be like we have an OnlyFans. You can find us on r slash, <laughs> you know, Reddit dot com slash r slash gay dicks. Yep. OnlyFans. Uh, it's uh, Kratos Daddy Milkers sixty nine sixty nine. Find me on, find me on fucking kick. <laughs> oh my god! You can find me on Venmo, uh, Cash App. Uh, Cash App. Me. Here's my Bitcoin wallet. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be mad shit. But all right. I'm idiot.